Very good. Yeah. Um, so welcome to Brent's Anime Review Corner, where I talk about anime that I love. Key the Metal Idol's an unusual one for me, because I came across Key um, fairly early in my otakudom, back in the day when anime was hard to find. And I watched this not long after I'd watched Serial Experiments Lane. And Key is um, in a somewhat similar genre to Lane, in the sense that it's sort of a sci-fi, sort of techno-thriller kind of a thing, although it's much less technological in the sense of, like, you know, desktop computers and internet and so forth, and more about, um, uh, well, robots, frankly. Um, Key is set in a, um, uh, basically an alternate universe, um, Japan, where, apparently, um, essentially, robotics um, work has progressed as quickly as, like, PC development progressed back in the day. And so certain individuals have been able to create um, androids um, very quickly, um, even in, like, 90s uh, J uh, Japan, in secret, of course, because anime. And, um, and so the story focuses on this teenage girl named Ki, who um, explains to everyone that she is an android, that the, the man she lives with built her and sends her out. The thing is, because all of this stuff has been done in secret, nobody believes Ki could possibly be an android. It's just, you know, no. Like, you have skin, you have all this kind of stuff. And she's like, no, this is actually who I am. Um, and so, and it should be pointed out, um, Key's a fairly unusual girl. Uh, she is definitely emotionless. She definitely, if you imagine a robot, that is kind of how Key acts all the time. Um, and then she, as the story goes on, gets pulled into all sorts of nefarious science fiction-y action stories um, and some pretty dark content. Um, Key is a an ambitious anime series um, with a lot of dramatic plot lines all going at once. Um, and you will, I think, you will be into Key exactly as much as you are willing to accept and dive into its premises. Um, if you accept the story of, you know, our robot's real, no one really believes it, but Key definitely believes she is and she would know. Um, and then, um, uh, you know, other robots showing up and also supernatural things happening, which Key can also sometime, somehow uh, influence as well. Um, and tying this into Shinto and other aspects of traditional Japanese storytelling. Um, because this is a... i got to move past some things here. Um, uh, Key is very thoughtful in the same way that Lane is, in the same way the Boogie Pop Phantom is, in the same way the Angel's Egg is. It's a quiet, serious show with bursts of surprising, sometimes shocking sequences. Um, it knows, this is one of the, the things that really got to me. Um, Key is surprisingly constrained and restrained. It's tell, it has the, the following plot lines, the following things going on, and it doesn't push itself too far. It, it's covering a lot of ground, but it doesn't try to be all things to all people. It is um, very much executing on these things that it's exploring around um, how, people, how we treat each other, how people should be treated, um, and kind of respect for other people. Um, but in this very quiet, serious way that also reflects on a lot of the things you've seen in anime around these sorts of subjects. So you've seen Ghost in the Shell, a lot of these sorts of concepts coming along as well. Um, there are a few things I have to note about this series. Um, there's a lot of nudity. So get ready for that. 
Um, and it comes up out of nowhere. And there are times when that, oh, actually, not just there are times. That nudity is very deliberately used. It is never just fan service. When it happens, it is meant to be like, oh, oh, why is, oh, or something like that. Um, or it is meant to be representational or something. So, uh, so often in um, anime and Japanese media, nudity is used as more as a sign of purity. It's used sometimes there too, but it's, it's always intentional. Key is one of the more intentional anime out there, I would say. That said, it is covering a lot of ground. Um, it is a TV series followed by two movies. In the movies, they, without a doubt, ran out of money. Because there are long scenes in the movies of just people talking. And in some cases, literally just sitting there. There's a famous shot where two people are talking. And one person has his hands up like this. And the other person is turned looking away from you. So they don't even animate lip flaps. It's just static images of characters, you know, talking with just dialogue running over them because just the budget ran out. Um, and so there's a lot of just kind of, okay, and now the info dump where we explain the backstory, we explain this thing and so forth. So it's not always the most elegant of series. However, when I got to the end of Key the Metal Idol, I did a thing that I've only ever done for Serial Experiments Lane, Neon Genesis Evangelion, Technolize, those might be the only ones, where I then stood up and spent an hour pacing back and forth in my, my parents' den, actually, thinking about what I'd just seen, and processing it and working through what the plot lines were, what they meant, um, what my feelings were about it. I had a lot to digest at the end of Key of the Metal Idol, and it felt very, very satisfying. Um, some of the plot lines are resolved, um, I would say, more clearly than others. Um, it's definitely not one of those things where it's like a Hollywood movie where things are just kind of, oh, tied up with a bow at the end and everything's fine. Um, but that is also the nature of the story it's telling, um, is that things are messy. Um, and so I have a great fondness for Key the Metal Idol, um, although it did come along at a time in my life when I was very hungry for that. And so there was probably a certain amount of, uh, of me being very much ready for Key the Metal Idol, and so it spoke to me very strongly. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's one of those animes where I can think like, oh, yeah, Ki and Sakura and Dr. Mima. You know, th those names are still in my, my, my mind from this, uh, this anime. Again, it's very different. It's not for everybody. Uh, but I loved it.